Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this uh, TCC meetup on hacking the creativity code. But before we start, I would like to share a little bit about the content collective. Uh, my name is Ruben, and I, and along with Bhumika, started off this the content collective. And the main purpose of the collective, you know, people ask, you know, why do you need another uh, group or another uh, community? Uh, when we looked out there, we found that there is no, I mean, there are several communities for marketing professionals, for designers, and uh, you know, other such uh, creative uh, fields. But there isn't one specifically focused on content create creators. And uh, we felt that there needs to be a space for content creators to really come together and uh, grow as a community. Because content collect, uh, content creation is a is an individual uh, activity, it takes a lot of uh, time, effort, and uh, you know introspection. Uh, and overall, because content is so important in the you know in almost every uh, sphere of li life at the moment for communications and marketing, we thought that we need to create an ecosystem that uh, collectively improves itself. It's not to say that we are improving it, but collectively comes together, looks at uh, you know, how we can help and support each other, and essentially uh, you know, interact, learn, and share uh, you know, their own experiences, which is why we do, two, we do this in two ways. We basically have this a meetup like this, which is a monthly meeting, where we do two things. We either get somebody to share their experience in terms of what is it that they are doing in the, in the space of expertise that they are in, or we have the second part, which is what we're doing today, which is skill sharing. Uh, and we have a lot of skill uh, content creators in our uh, collective at the moment. And we'd like to you know, request them to actually come up and share the skills that they have and how they go about doing what they do. And I think that is itself in itself a, a great uh, you know, learning and uh, way to move forward. So, uh, and the second thing that we do is we, we send a monthly newsletter, which again summarizes what we did and some of some tips and, and over a theme, we, we discuss a few topics. We also showcase some creative work that's done by people in our community. So in short, this is what we do. Uh, there are, there's obviously a lot more that we can do. So if you have any suggestions, any feedback, anything that you think we should be adding to the community, we would be more than happy to incorporate that. So. Without much further ado, I think this is a good enough introduction to the collective. I'd like to invite Jasmine uh, to you know, take over the session and share with her, sh share with us how she, uh, you know, comes up with creative content, creative strategies every time. Uh, you know, without I'm sure you know there are ways that you know there are days when she's also not feeling hundred percent. So how does she really get through those days, and how does she really come up with creative solutions day in and day out. So over to you, uh, Jasmine. Right, okay. So thank you so much once again, Ruben and Bhumika. Um, firstly, I know it's a Saturday today and I think it's a meet weekend for most people. So whenever you all watch this, I know your mind will have a lot of different thoughts going on. You can be thinking about work, you can be thinking about laundry, you might be thinking about groceries, right? So why don't we just start by blocking off the next 40 minutes? So can we do that? Like let's just block off the next 40 minutes and not think all these multiple thoughts, right? Um, so before we start, I'll just, I'm, I'll give you a one-liner intro and then I'll get a little more into what, what do I do? So I'm basically a, a copywriter and I'd love to hear from all of you, what field are you in? So uh, a lot of people from marketing, advertising, I see that right now, but the whole idea, right, about us trying to think creatively or trying to think differently, it doesn't have to be that we have to be from a creative field because in life, you might want to send an email to someone, right? You might be from any field. You might want to send an email. You might want to make a PPD. You might want to wish someone for their birthday on WhatsApp, or maybe you might have a life problem someday when you know you feel stuck in the situation and you feel your mind needs to think differently, think creatively to come up with answers, to come up with 
alternate answers, right? It's happened. I mean, ha have any of you all felt stuck anytime? Might be writing an email, might be preparing a PPT. You might be a writer, have to think of some new ad concept, or you might just have a life problem. We all have had life problems, right? So the whole idea comes that how do we train our mind to think creatively? Um, I believe that it's not a thing we are born with. If we constantly follow some techniques, some methods, we can actually really train our mind to think creatively and come up with ideas, come up with answers for anything. I'm not just saying just to write something, you know, it can be anything you, you might have any business attempt you're making in that, right? So I'll just give one example before we just dive in as to how can the mind think creatively and I'll just share my screen. I just want to show you. So a long time back, there was a book, okay, that uh, was the topic was about relationships, you know, and the publishing company, uh, it was a book about how to, how man and woman can meet. And the publishing company thought it's a very interesting topic. It's going to sell a lot. So they got the book published. They put it in literally every bookstore possible. Okay. They put it in every little um, bookstore. And I'll show you which that book was. And everyone thought that, you know, it's just um, going to make like great sales. Jasmine, we are not able to see your screen, so if you can, I think, yeah, sure. switch over. No, uh, you can see it right now. No, uh, yes, it's loading. Yeah. Now. Okay, you can see the book cover. Yes, we can. Great. Right, so this was the book. It was about love, and they thought it's really going to be a bestseller. And they put it up in every bookstore, and then the sales team and the distributors saw that it's not selling well and they had like made such a big plan and so everyone starts thinking right like what do we do now and someone from the sales team gets this idea that what if we keep everything as it is word to word every page is word to word same what if we just change the title okay let's make it something more catchy so what the, the, the book was called astrological love and they change it to how to satisfy a woman every time. And they just change this title. So everything you see on the cover was changed. Inside, word to word, same. Everything was same. And that was one idea given by someone in, in the sales team. And this is how their sales shot up. They were at 2,000 copies. And they made 2.3 million sales in the, just the first one and a half year. So what I'm trying to say is an idea when your mind can come up with an idea for any problem. This was a business problem. They were not doing enough sales and they needed an idea. So um, coming back to a little about what I do and how I try to train my mind because it's been 14 years for me in writing. I write for different ad agencies, different brands. I'm a copywriter basically. So every day I have to keep my mind and come up with like really creative ideas. And today I'm going to be sharing how I do that. I use some techniques that have really, really for me, touch wood. So I'd like to share them with you all. Um, just I'll give you a small, small, like a short story before I get into the techniques. We're going to be talking about four techniques today. But just before I dive into that, I'll tell you because I remember this like the first time I got a creative idea with respect to my career um, I was 14 years old I was having my school summer vacations all right and I was actually not like in India I was studying somewhere abroad so for the summer vacations me and my parents we came to India we thought we'll meet my grandparents and all of that and I didn't know anyone in India. So I had like a lot of time. I had two months of doing nothing. So I would like go um, just walk on the streets and I was getting bored. I had no friends in India. So I was walking and I saw this bookstall 
outside a college okay one college in bandra if you all are familiar with mumbai there's one college in bandra and i saw one book stall and it had a really nice magazine it was a magazine i think meant for college students it was a youth magazine i started reading the pages and i found it like super funny um i really connect a lot with humor so there were a lot of good articles and i was like wow i want to write something like this so on the last page this was back in i think 2005 um where computers would work like really slowly even to send an email but i saw like a email id which said that if you want to work with us write us on this email id and i did that and i told them you know like i would like love to write an article for you all and they called on my landline to just get to know me more and they were like you're 14 okay our college our magazine is for college students you're not even in college you're in school we don't think you understand the market and i'm like see i understand i am small uh, but why don't you give me a shot let me just present you some ideas i have some articles that you all can put in your magazine and let's see let's like you no know, then then let's let you tell me then okay and they didn't seem that keen but nonetheless i wanted to so i was like because i had so much of free time and i would like really just literally walk on the street i saw a lot of like college kids in back in those days around like these bookshops okay and these bookshops were like some of them are underground and i would like see them all like you know wo jhund bana ke wahan khade rehte the so i was like okay maybe like this is some spot which college people find cool um and i was like okay what if i do an article uh, on like the you know the underground bookstores in mumbai and i shared that idea with this magazine and i said see i think this is something your audience will love and why don't we just um i can write a draft and share it with you and back in those google wasn't like as it is today everything took 10 times of time and you know so nonetheless i took a lot of days to write it and i sent it to them and surprisingly they really liked it and they said we'll make this a cover story and i was like wow you know uh great and that was the point for me when that thing got published i was like this is it All right, so starting off with the first technique, let's get into it. Um, I call this the first technique. I call it the get off technique. Okay. Now, because you know, every morning we wake up, we have a set way to do things, right? We brush our teeth, we make our bed. So, what has happened over time? Our mind gets really comfortable being in a way, following a routine, which is great. It's great to be disciplined. but it also gets very comfortable all right so to think differently uh maybe our mind gets a little lazy at times you know we we love doing things in our comfort zone so one way to break that to be able to think something new to be able to think something different we need to get off a certain path of thinking so i'm sure like all of you um uh, remember this ad very famous ad where humans uh how we used to think humans right the way you're seeing all of us on video like this is how we look and this is the things we do but i'm sure you'll remember this ad even if you don't know we watched it together someone came up with an idea like what if a human can be a street lamp like what if a human can become a chandelier we are, we are not our eyes are not used to seeing humans like that right like what if i just look up right now and i see a human sitting on my chandelier it's going to make me like what what is happening right so um when we think in a way where we are not used to seeing a certain thing or object we can come up with an idea so i'll show you one ad since i work a lot on ads that um I'm sure you'll have seen this happy dance ad, but it's like one of my favorites. We we just watch it together. Dil 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 d
Right, so I hope that was clear, like you could view it clearly. Um, the point is that when we start looking off the path, we really get off the path and we don't see things in the same perspective. Like in this ad, they don't see humans as the humans we do daily, right? They take the liberty to see them differently. You get off the path um, and that's when you can come up with a different perspective which can lead to a different idea. There was this really famous movie, I don't know if you all have watched it, old movie called uh, Ground uh, Hog, right? Groundhog Day, where basically what happens is there's a weatherman, okay? He reports the weather every day. Every day of his life is the same. It keeps repeating the same event. Uh, so it's like a curse. Like imagine every day the same things happening. You're saying the same lines to everyone you meet. It's creepy, right? But to break that curse, you have to start doing things differently. So he starts with small things, like he starts dressing up differently. Like instead of greeting someone in one way, he greets the person in a different way. He, he dresses up in a different way and goes to a cafe. Uh, to a point that he really needs to do things differently, like come out of his routine, his comfort zone, to be able to break that uh, curse. Um, now, I want to do like a small game together where we will use our minds to think in a different, like think off the path, okay? I want you all to experience how this kind of a mind thing works. So I'll just show you all one image right now. Can you all see it? Yep. Yeah, right. So the first thing, okay, um, I hope everyone can see it. Now this is a male. And do you see this man? And this is where we are standing. All right. Now how will you normally come out of this maze? If, if I have to go by the set way of doing things, thinking, um, I guess we use the door, right? That's I mean, the most obvious thing. You, there's a door here, you use the door and come out. Now that's the set part. So I have a question and I want all of you to contribute with answers. How will you come out of this maze, but you can't use the set way of thinking, which is using the door to come out. So how else? So can we like put our minds together and think how, how are we going to come out of this maze? But we don't want to use the door because that's a set part of thinking and that's, that's not creative. I mean, at least in the ad world, it's like that kind of a thing wouldn't run. So yeah, Bhumika, Ruben, Shweta. Ruben says climb over the fence. Okay, like, like these green, uh, okay. The hedge, yeah, <laughs> the hedge. Okay, I just hope they don't have like pipes and all. But yeah, that is a way to do that. What do you I think? Can see, I can see two ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One is uh, either go <laughs> either go inside the house. I'm sure there'll be a door by the side of the house and get out of another door. Mm -hmm. You didn't say you can't go through door. Right? Yeah, Doors. you can do anything. You can just do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The other is try to climb the roof maybe. Oh, wow. Great. <laughs> okay, what what else? Uh, if if someone's a hard worker, then they'll probably stick to the path and find the other end of the maze. Okay. If I had to say, I would probably you know like pull out these green parts, like create a hole. I'll try to pluck out these green plants and make a hole and try to come out of that. But. Uh, Anything else you can think of? I typically present like a bigger hole on the ground and fire. Right. Yeah. But I think so you'll, have, you'll... <laughs> you'll have a hard time coming out from the other side. We'll be out of the yeah. maze, but we don't know where else we land. But, uh... But uh, yeah, it, you saw, right? Your mind, we, we put our mind to think not on the set path. And sometimes we can come up with crazy ideas, uh, but it's fine, right? That's how we come up with something creative. Um, I'm sure you've gotten thoughts. So 
every time you uh, are probably, I don't know, say you're writing an email, right? So first establish what is the set path. I have to write my email this way first. I greet, then I introduce myself, then I tell a little about my service, right? So first establish the set path and then go against it. And when you go against it, you get many ideas. Some might be good, some might be bad, some might be crazy. But that's how you try to think, okay, I think this is creative, right? So did you all get a gist of this, of the getting off the set path technique? And this is used a yeah. lot in like at least my field advertising. MTV recently um, did something, not recently, sorry, where a baby was born, but because the mom would watch so much TV while she was pregnant, the baby's head was like a TV box. And it was like the moment that thing plays on your screen and you see something like that, you know you're going to watch it for the next 10 seconds more because you have not seen such a thing before right so it's just about first establish the set path and then think against it um maybe even in life if you i hope not but if you, someday you're all stuck in a life problem try to think of different perspectives or approaches that can probably solve it all right so moving on to um the next technique um this is a problem like I call it the problem kya hai technique. Now, in today's world, relevancy matters a lot, lot right? Like um, a very simple thing. Uh, if you see a new fashion trend on, I don't know, maybe Mintra or Amazon, you're shopping for clothes and you see a new fashion trend, you will buy that dress or that suit if it relates to you, right? If it's something totally not your style, if it doesn't relate to your style, you will not buy it. It's as simple as that. So things need to relate to humans as much as possible. So in the, this technique called problem kya hai technique, we try to bring in relevancy by, we try to describe what is the root problem. Okay, because the moment we say, okay, this, we really like pinpoint that yehi hai problem. So that's how I come up with a solution easily. So that's how I get re relatability for my audience or for my reader. Like, um, you know, a lot of times uh, I can see a lot of you are from marketing. We get briefs, right, from our clients. And to crack a brief, we have to be clear, like, this is a problem and when you're clear about a problem because our mind has so many thoughts it's actually very hard to come up with a problem even when we even if say a day when we are down right we can't just pinpoint and say this is a problem sometimes we have to go get some tests done and then we try to define the exact problem to be able to come up with a solution right a solution that hits the problem at on the head um yeah so as i said like at work also we keep getting a lot of briefs right and how do you crack a brief try to get like try to define it don't don't keep confusion this or that that or this define it so you come up with a definite solution and then see how that works for you so um example i'll tell you this how many how many of you all cook or how many of you all make tea indian masala tea great i think we all we all do and uh, after that what happens is if, if you just keep it for some time it's really difficult to clean it properly if you washed it it gets like all stuck up right it's really difficult to clean it out like you have to put strength okay so a lot of the liquid soaps in the market like wim gel and all they were able to define a problem which a lot of people really face while washing vessels even if you have help at home they do face this problem right it it takes strength to wash a vessel which has tea like indian tea which most of us drink daily right and this was a problem so what they did was great we have established defined the problem now let's think solutions right 
So they made their product in a way where the stains can come off easily. You don't have to put a lot of shoulder strength to wash your vessel, right? So they defined the problem so clearly that all their ideas were around that problem, which was solutions to the problem. So, so I'm sure you all have seen Vim Gel ads on TV uh, or any other soap ads. They just show that you have made biryani, bana di, apne chai, bana di, now it's so easy to wash it off. And this is a product that sells like crazy. I mean, we all buy, right? We all buy liquid soap. Vim is a very popular brand. So it, it was that. And sometimes to get to the problem, it's hard. It's not like in a snap of a second. You need to think like crazy, but you focus on the problem. First, focus on the problem. Okay, what is the problem? Okay. Why are people not replying to my email? Right? Maybe something like that. You, you, you might be writing to different clients and no one's replying. So try to find the problem to be able to come up with an idea. Once you define the problem or, or if you make a deck, you, you have to do a presentation in your office. And you notice that people are like falling asleep. So the next time, go through your deck or go through like how you spoke. Pick out some problems. What is it? It's fine to point out problems. It just makes us better, right? And then you come up with better solution, better ideas. So always say problem kya hai. When you say that, start finding the problem. Um, I want to show you all two really interesting ads uh, that work on this technique where, you know, the concept of finance, everyone says it's complicated. I mean, that's the perception. And everyone's trying to make finance easy. So this is this international brand called Klarna. It's like a Paytm. And they just wanted to, I mean, they felt that, yeah, man, I mean, for people to get, like now, like here in India, everyone has Paytm. But there was a time we were finding it difficult, right, to switch to digital. We were more comfortable with cash. And how do you get everyone, right, from a rickshaw driver to everyone onto an app? which involves money transactions. So again, even abroad, they were facing that. And a brand called Klarna wanted to put this out that, you know, um, getting on this app, it's just smooth. The problem was people were like, nah, yaar, it's, man, the hota hai, ye sab, nah, yaar, let's do cash and finish it off. But so they made this series of really interesting ads and I just, personally love it it's really simple but um, i want you all to see it which again when i was reading they said that you know they tried to define the problem so uh, clearly that they were able to come up with a solution so let me just show you okay you can see my screen right yeah great Just, just one more so you get right. You see a chair on the screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah now it's Right, so the problem that they defined in the start was that yeah, the apps in a transactions, karna, you know, it's like a lot of janjart and all that, right? Too much on janjart. So we need something that is smooth. And the moment they saw that, okay, this is the problem, it's too much of a hassle for people to get onto an app to do financial transactions. Ideas, come on, people, ideas. And then they were like, okay, what if we make it? Our communication has to be, it's smooth. How smooth, okay, and then ideas started coming in. 
smooth like you're just grating cheese, smooth like a fish coming down a slide. And they did a series of these ads and the app really picked up. They got a lot of good downloads. Uh, but it all came from just asking the thing, problem kya hai? Now you can ask things like, you see where the problem is. Is the problem in me? Is the problem in my environment? Is the problem in people around me? So you ask questions and that's when you come up with solutions for each problem. Is it in the person? Is it external? Like how, how do these liquid soap uh, people do it? It's not a problem in the person, right? It's not like a weight issue, weight loss problem. It's in the environment, right? It's the vessel that is hard to take out the stain from. Or is the problem in other people, right? Um, like a lot of security systems, um, how do they come up with their marketing communication? The problem is in the environment. There can be robbers around, right? Who can come and steal your home to put security systems in place. So you keep on asking these questions, mainly three things. Is the problem in me, which is the person? Is the problem in the external environment? Is the problem in the people around me? And you see how ideas keep coming, right? So this technique, problem kya hai? Now the third technique is um, called people are my army technique, okay? What does that mean, people are my army? See, we need to uh, understand that always ideas will not come from our mind. Okay, it's okay to accept and acknowledge. We are not some super god and goddesses or any idea aate rehte. So, if you know, a lot of corporates invest in building on their teams. They have these workshops, they have these events, activities to focus on teamwork, team building, right? You all must have heard it. Um, in advertising, we call it something like brainstorming sessions. Even I do it a lot with my clients. And a lot of different people come. It can also be account managers, not just the creative teams, right? Because the re it's, it's proven that when you talk to people in the same situation, you, you can put together ideas. Sometimes you can link the ideas to come up with a better creative idea. Uh, you want to experience it, we will do an experience together, okay? Now, before, um, before we start this, I want each one of you to pick up one item that's in your surrounding. I think most of you all are streaming right now from your home or maybe even office. Pick up one item and show it to me on camera. We, we can take our 10 seconds, pick up anything at all and then i'll tell you what is it so i'll also just go and pick up something and we just show it on camera we will get a feel of how we can work to come up with an idea when we are together with people okay so shweta you have okay <laughs> that's a case okay it's a case for your pod Great. Um, Bhumika has spectacles. Ruben has a, bot a bottle. And I think I have this diary, this maroon diary. Great. Cool. So we have four items, a diary, spectacles, a bottle, and we have a case. Uh, Great. Now, assuming uh, four of us were taking a trip, in a sea and four of us we are stuck on an island right we're just stuck and no one showed me a phone so we don't have a phone guys sorry about that we, we're stuck here we have some items in the bag we have a diary we have a case we have a bottle we have spectacles right so let's call out for help let's put our minds we have ourselves we are wearing something, all of us, and we have some items. Let's put our minds how we're going to get out of this island. We need to call out for help. And yeah, of course, we're on an island. We have some trees, maybe some sticks. We have the nature, we have us, our bodies, and the items we showed. That's it.
So maybe first we also need to think about our survival, right? Because still health comes. Like I would say, what if we go and like fill some, like let's taste the water in the in the water around, and if it's fresh, we can fill it in the bottle that Ruben has, or we go and find the water source because we have to survive, right? Till health comes. But let's let's start thinking. We need to survive. We need to call out for help. Uh, you have a book, so we can yeah, write a message and float it in Ruben's bottle. Great, yeah, we, we can do that. Yeah, movie solution. Um, yeah, that, that's great. Someone will see it. Maybe like someone on the sea. Some pirates might see it. We don't know. Anything else? Like and then, then we can use uh, Rubika's spectacles to read to find the note and read the note. Yeah. My word. Find the note and read the note, or you can even use it to create a fire right? using the sun the lens. <laughs> Convex lens. All right. Uh, oh yeah. Lens. Ruben looks like it's saving us all. But yeah, we can use that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even I think Shweta's case is a plastic case, right? So No one of no one's even wear, wearing red like. Uh, so we can actually like, if something's flying in the sky, we can put out like. Uh, you they, they put out a red flag, I think, when you talk, you're supposed to. I, I've heard this. You're supposed to give out a signal. Yeah. Or you can use it as a, as a uh, way to break open. Hopefully, there are coconut trees, so you can use it to break open a coconut. I know Apple will not be too happy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but survival is first, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing there'll be mango trees as well. We can use it to uh, get some mangoes out of the tree. Yeah, we can use the case to like get help us get food and break and and hopefully by the message we have sent in the bottle of ruben or the fire that we light someone comes for help right uh, so so you'll get a sense right when we together put our minds we can come up with either half ideas and then stick them together or we might just someone else might come up with a great idea so it's not just always us who needs to um, be the one who comes up with the idea. That's why, as I said, corporates invest so much, so much in team building because their organization needs ideas and they need people to have a good rapport. Now, assuming in all four of us, say we didn't share a great rapport, we couldn't so comfortably come together, put out our thoughts, right? That's why they invest so much in, you know, having great, like, sharing a great rapport with each other, forming connections, because ideas do come when you make people also part of your army. So that's third. Um, if you can get a team, if you're working in a team, um, or even if in some other situation, you feel someone can relate to your industry or relate to uh, what you're trying to achieve, it's good to jam with them, to brainstorm with them, to be able to come up with an idea. And um, the last technique, uh, which is very, uh, I also use it a lot and it's used a lot again in different fields, is called um, the storytelling technique. A kahani ho jai. People use storytelling a lot to, you know, be it you're presenting an annual report, be it you're making a video for your company be it you're writing an email, you're selling a product, you've seen, right? I mean, people use storytelling so much nowadays. Uh, and I, I'll tell you why, okay? And I'll, I'll get able to feel why. Because stories, uh, they're more than just words and they're more than what you hear. They do something in your heart. So what will happen right now, I'll give you all an instance so you all can see the power of storytelling. Now, on the next slide, there will be a set of words and there will again be a set of words, okay? So just read those words in your mind 
and make a mental note of what you're feeling like what you're feeling in your heart what are your thoughts when you read those words on the screen okay ready so you can see the screen there are a few words written on it just read it and make a mental note of what you're feeling when you're reading these words are there any feelings coming are there any visualizations in your mind coming are there any past memories coming up when you read these words right so i'm sure you have made a mental note of it now there's this word are you feeling something are you having some visual make a mental note of it anything right so for most people something has happened from this slide to this slide um i'll tell first about how i felt and i like to know how you felt so for me when i read these words road trip with friends in my heart i feel very excited i just i don't know, i feel excited and the moment i'm shown this screen i feel um i feel a sense of fear in my heart that's that's how i felt so right i was feeling excited and suddenly i start feeling that uh, and it's it's a really change of feeling in my heart when i'm reading that so for any of you like how how did you feel when your red road trip with friends and then you saw the second slide or anything any thoughts in your mind so for road trip with friends uh, the words or the thoughts are largely joy freedom happiness explore so these are the words uh, with the death perhaps because whatever i have witnessed all through my life the the thoughts that came uh, were reality peace sorrow there was no fear the thought was mm, not of right. fear so maybe you know maybe if you would have shown me this 20 years before the 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 with the experiences uh, the thoughts change so maybe right so that's yeah, of course. from my a lot of past experiences when that i think it just happens a lot of past experience see how we see it so what happened was there was some we felt something right we felt different emotions but we felt something and maybe when we leave from this when we log out all of us i don't know we might remember a word as we do or some people might just not remember anything but they might take a feeling back with them and feeling stay in your heart right they might stay till the evening also and this is what storytelling does it leaves you with an emotion so when you are presenting even an annual report there's so many numbers and not everyone in the room might remember a number they might refer it of course that's their work they refer it but when they leave the room they'll be left with an emotion so when companies want to like you know they're like okay now we need to boost our team okay so when they present you know by the end of the year we have to do so many crores in sales when they say that they link a story to it because throughout the 365 days there's a feeling it can be anything sometimes they they use you know this feeling of josh they build a story around it you know you got to do it man like see the cricket team of india how they do it they link it to different stories or they might show fear some companies play on fear ki you know if if we don't meet our targets this is this will happen everything will go down the drain so a lot of people work on the um element of emotion and storytelling even when you're writing an email okay there are many ways you can make a story out of it um you don't have to just sell facts put a story link it to other things uh, a lot of companies use characters also to tell a story i'll tell you this example of how a real estate company um used this whole idea of storytelling to sell so a real estate company made these beautiful villas on like beach facing villas okay they made these beach facing villas and now they got to sell these villas so what do they do of course they got to send emails ki you know these are villa these are the beautiful pictures itne square feet ka hai this is the cost these are the amenities 
and they started sending out even catalogs to their customer base. But everyone was doing that, right? Even the competitors who had patches of other villas on the same uh, beachfront were doing that. So how do we stand out? So someone in the real estate team came up with an idea. They said, "Take okay, care. Ham email bejre, catalog se bejre. What if along with the catalog we send something else?" So what they did was they actually picked up this handful of sand. put it in a small bag and send this with the catalogs to everyone's home now they were like okay now what when the people open the catalog they see this bag of sand and it starts with a one page of story the story said that how today you're holding the sand is costing um some 10000 per square feet the sand and imagine in the next 5 years this is going to become 5x feel it this is the most uh, prestigious sand that you can hold in your hand and they built a whole story and this was on the only thing they did differently and then of course they shared all the amenities the square feet and all that but just by sending that sand and putting a story attaching a story to that handful of sand and making it look like the most prestigious thing you can own on the planet by sand they were able to make sales because when people got their uh, couriers aate hai mails aate hai what they remembered was like you know what this was different i've gotten a bag of sand and it's from all the catalogs that come by courier from all the emails that come to me of different real estate companies this stood out made sense touch me something in my heart let's see let's explore so it was a way of thinking differently thinking creatively to be able to make a mark in the person's heart okay and then of course you then you'll think logically you'll you'll pick up the phone call them understand i mean after you're purchasing property right it's not something simple you'll make calls but to make that first move they used creativity to get people attracted but it just that's it they thought a little differently and that was it so yeah that those are uh, some of the different techniques i like to share and so if ever you are in this spot where you feel you need to think creatively maybe your profession demands it maybe it doesn't but you might want to think differently be it on an email you have to send be it a whatsapp to someone a message and you want to stand apart you think nahi yaar i have to do something creative either one is uh, don't think on the path try thinking off the path second is define the problem clearly problem is in the people problem is in the neighborhood problem is in the environment usse aapko solution aayegi you see how solutions come when you want to clear about the problem um the third one is that people right how we are stuck in an island put together talk to other people if if you have if you are in a profession where you work with teams great have brainstorming sessions you can piece together different ideas and come up with something a better idea or for use storytelling because storytelling will always leave an emotion it can be a good emotion it can be a bad emotion it's it's how you craft your story but that emotion will be taken back home and that's how people will uh want to act You use a lot of emotions to get these strike people's heart, get them to act. That's how. So that was a little about. I hope it made sense to you. If you all have any queries, please uh, feel free to shoot them. And yeah, see, implement these. See how it works for you, and let me know. Thanks so much, uh, Jasmine. I think. Uh, Thank you. All of these were very helpful. and uh, you know i haven't seen you uh, and worked with you a couple on, on a couple of occasions i've seen that you implement these pretty often in your in your style of working as well so are there any tips that you can uh, give us to you know how do we incorporate that as a you know in our daily daily work in daily life so is there anything that you do yeah so first i think it's okay to tell yourself you know your ideas might be crazy um you can just be fearless about it share it with the world and at most it will get rejected that's it 
there's nothing worse that's going to happen i've had many ideas of mine rejected um that's it you think fearlessly i think the one issue we all have is we 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 start to get very conscious around people ki log kya sochenge yaar we are afraid of failing what if no one likes my idea i mean big deal that's that nothing worse than that you you still hopefully wake up the next day think something new and is that yeah use different techniques you might in in the process come up with your own technique um that's it one more uh, shweta you you wanted to say something before i uh, so my question um, to jasmine was in addition to what ruben you asked so i want to i'm in this personal branding space helping professionals build their personal brand using linkedin is what my niche is as of now but uh, what happens is i see that potential in people and i want them to experiment and as you rightly said you know people have this very guarded opinion especially professionals you know where they are like okay they they put themselves in a the box and they think that okay this is how only people are going to perceive me in the right way and and which is where they are also limiting uh, their reach and impact and for me <laughs> the creative thing is to how to convince them to experiment you know so i have to kind of work around these techniques to to kind of get creative in pushing them to be more experimental so that uh, you know i get a job satisfaction that okay things are working i also learn uh, okay these these things so for some some techniques work for some some doesn't so but till the time you experiment none of us would actually come up the learning curve so uh, my <laughs> i'm going to use it for that that's what uh, there's no question per se but if 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 at all i have to use it what are your two cents in terms of how can i perhaps go about it i think what if you show people that uh, see i know what you're saying because i've seen some workshops where professionals as you said they're so guarded and in the start of the workshop say some i, I saw the speaker was trying to do an actuary where you just said put your hands out okay and they were like so hesitant like no man this is the way we stand our bosses are here our juniors are here how can we do this and it took the speaker a while to get them like you know what we need to do this because we are going to experience a form of energy in this room and thoda thoda karke unke haath workshop ke end tak ho gaye seedhe but i i get what you're saying but what if you show them results like um like how i gave you some examples right like um a real estate company did this now this could have even tanked right matlab आप मुझे बीच का स्टैंड बेच रहे हो लाइक व्हाट यू नो सम पीपल बी लाइक ये क्या मतलब हो रहा है बट शो देम रिजल्ट्स लाइक सी इट हैज वर्क फॉर एक्स पीपल देयर इज नो हार्म इन ट्राइंग सो इवन दैट दैट इज द फर्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट इट्स दैट इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप दैट इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप एट दैट प्रॉब्लम इज व्हेन यू एंड एंड यू नो अगेन गोइंग बैक टू प्रॉब्लम क्या है so the problem is you show them results you show them that x person is doing this and you know maybe looking at your persona this can work for you but nahi nahi ye to mere industry mein work nahi karega ye to mere domain mein work nahi karega acha hai good for them but we cannot implement this mm-hmm. you know so uh, <laughs> so that's that's again uh, you know even if you show them result that's so mindset shift is something that takes a hell lot of a time and uh, it does it does yeah but uh, i am going to surely implement all these techniques for myself and perhaps i can become the specimen of you know showing this also okay, it is all for me yeah you can of course uh, tell them you can guide them but uh, it needs to they need to have you know people need to take action um, it's easy to say nahi nahi chalega it's hard to take action because action and results take time but i think yeah you if if you believe in it you you say it with that of course you tell them with your whole confidence and that that you need to believe in it um i think it's really up to them if they want to take the action or no uh, and that that we can implement it for others we can share it 
I think it's great to at least sharing it with them that you know how it is going to help them, it's going to benefit them. You're showing them, you're guiding them. Uh, but that's that. I think it's more important you believe in it, which which you of course do. Ruben, you were supposed to ask. Yeah, I, before we end the session, I wanted Jasmine to let us know if somebody were to reach out to you and get you to do these sessions with them, how can they do that? So if you can share a little bit about uh, you know that in terms of your, the sessions that you do, and if anybody wants to reach out to you and you can guide them or handle them in creativity, how do they do that? Sure, sure. So um, you can just contact me on my email at or I'm very active on Instagram. Um, my email ID is jacklinchabri at gmail.com. You can just send me an email. I'm very prompt in answering and I'll be more than happy to see how we can together make things better and, you know, get the creative juices flowing. That's it. And uh, sorry, once again, coming back to Shweta, uh, that one thing, right, when people say no, it's objectioning objection handling uh, people will give you a lot of objections and you just got to handle them with uh, just logical answers results and your own belief and that's it but there are stages to break I'll, I'll share something later i'll probably send it on linkedin to you there are stages to break an objection so when someone says no it's not going to work for me it's like a hierarchy in which you try to break if it breaks great so let me know if that works i'll try it on linkedin with you thank you thanks so much uh, Jasmine, thank you so much you. all of you you all were pretty interactive which was great yeah. thank you so much uh, i wish more, more people would have attended this in the live session but we will we have recorded this and we will share this on all our channels including uh, you know our newsletter uh, and hopefully more people will benefit uh, from these techniques. And uh, yeah, I mean, it serves our objective of the community. So thank you so much for being you know, so supportive and sharing your time and uh, you know, taking us through your own uh, experiences and skills that we use. So thank you so much.